Welcome to TechWorks video. The topic of this video is the Web Center Employee Quick Start Guide to Entering and Submitting Your Time. Entering time via the Web Center is a quick and easy way to get your time to your supervisor and helps prevent losing paper time cards. Here is some information on how to get your time into the system and how to submit it. The first thing you're going to want to do is navigate to the URL that is provided by your employer, by your staffing company. You'll enter your username and password to access, to access your self-service Web Center portal. From there, you're going to navigate to the assignment that you're working on. Now, you can do that either right from the home screen, you can go right into the assignment from here, or from the Assignments tab. So either way, you'll find, locate the assignment that you are working on and you want to submit your time to. You will then create a new time card for this assignment. What this is going to do is open up a wizard that's going to talk you through creating your time card. Um, note your employer may or may not allow you the ability to select different pay codes such as regular time, vacation time, on-call pay, PTO, etc. So you'll go through the wizard. Um, once you've created your time card, what you'll do is you can either view the time card right now or you can close the window and you can open it up manually. If you close the window and open it up manually, you'll be able to find that time card, if I close this out, within the time card section of your self-service portal. So in here, how you're going to edit your time card to enter your time is simply click on the edit button over on the right hand side. When you click on that, that's going to open up your time card. Now your employer may or may not have you entering cost codes. If you're not, you can either ignore that area or you just plain won't see it depending on how that time card is formatted. Also you may or may not be able to upload a document. If you've got reimbursable expenses, you may be able to upload those receipts into Web Center. Also, you may or may not be able to enter adjustments into your time card. That's completely dependent upon your employer and what they want you to be entering. Um, in the section where it's asking for punch in, lunch out, lunch in, punch out, this is where you're actually going to be entering your time. Now this particular time card format is what we call the federal time card format where we can enter, whoop, if you're in the right field, enter the time that you showed up at work, enter the time that you left for lunch, enter the time that you returned from lunch, enter the time that you have left for the day. Now, as you're going through this, if you'd like to enter your time daily, you can enter it, save and close it, and come back and enter your time the next day, enter your time the next day, at the end of the week, then you'll go ahead and submit your time card. When you're done, you submit your time card, and that's what sends your time over to your supervisor for approval. Um, it's as simple as that, but there are different time card formats that your employer may be using. So you may see that federal time card. You may also see different time card formats such as the default daily template. If I open this up and preview it, your time card may look like this, where you enter the total time for each day that you've worked. You may also have a weekly time card where you enter, if I just simply open this up, you'll enter your regular overtime and double time hours. You may also, um, for those of you who are on salary, you may see a salary time card. A salary time card is simply going to ask you, did you work Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday of the week that you're submitting? So that is it for our entering time. If you have any questions on this topic, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.